win and get your freedom. You sure are lucky a driver like me just happened to turn up in your prison. Now that's entertainment. HBO On Demand and Cinemax On Demand. It's HBO and Cinemax. Welcome to Local Edition. I'm Tracy Young. Our guest is Dr. Jawa. He's a professional mechanical engineering at Cal Poly Pomona. He joins us to talk about the design and construction of a robot that is a result of a collaboration between CSU Pomona college students and West Covina high school students. Good to have you with us, Doctor. Thank you. There's something called the FIRST competition, but FIRST is actually an acronym. What does that stand for? FIRST stands for FIRST Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology. Uh, it's an yearly competition. It was originally founded by Dean Kamen, who invented the famous Segway. Yeah, the, it stands up straight. We get Absolutely. on it, we go around on that. Yes, yes. Why is it so important? We obviously hear this, but why is it so important that we really do recruit, train, and educate engineers? First of all, the number of people choosing science and engineering as a career in this country is declining, and we badly need them. It is time for us to celebrate science and technology, which drives the advancement of this country. So first is one way to inspire students to choose science and technology. In fact, there is enough data to show that there are students who are choosing science and technology after being in this kind of programs. I think it's easy. Some careers are easier to put your hands on and touch it, and you can say, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a lawyer, because we know what it is. Science and technology sometimes is a more abstract, but you bring this to life with these robots. Tell me about these robots. Absolutely. Uh, engineering is actually fun. Unfortunately, that is not how it is being portrayed to the people. It's really, really fun. In fact, I call robotics as a fourth R. We all know what is reading, writing, arithmetic, which is very sure. important for everybody. Uh -huh. But I am calling in a technology society like this, we need a fourth R, which is robotics. Why? Because here is something which involves math, science, engineering, control, everything that you can think of. And in one piece, you have something moving, something you can touch, something you can feel, as you will see in this robot. Right. So it actually engages the students, and the students do not know they are learning. Uh -huh. But they are learning, learning a lot more than in a regular classroom. So learning is fun, and that's why we focus on Will this robotics. Will you also speak for a moment about how this happens, how quickly the students have to respond, raise funds, design something, and then wow. take it to the competition? From the moment the, conference, uh, the competition rules are announced in January, they have six weeks to design, build, and test the robot. And they also have to raise money because there is no major support, financial support, so they have to go out and figure out the way to raise money and build the robot. It's an amazing feat. And how many years have the CSU Pomona and the West Covina High School students have been working together. Cal Poly Pomona and uh, West Covina High School students have been working together for the past eight years. Oh my goodness. What do you see? How does it affect the students differently, say when they start the program versus when they end it? It affects both students, both Cal Poly Pomona students and West Covina students in a very significant way. First, for the high school students, here is a great opportunity to work with college students who are like more like their big brothers. So instead of me going and lecturing them, <laughs> High college students working with them is really fun. They learn, that's a big impact. And many of them after the program want to go to college, first of all, that's a big thing. Okay. Second, many of them are choosing science and technology as a career. So that's a big impact on the West Covina high school side. On the college side, Cal Poly Pomona is one of the largest and finest engineering program in the country, you know that. But we offer our students not only just hands-on learning, we want our students to go to the local community mm -hmm. and help them. But it is not a pure voluntary work, but here is the work they, they, they contribute to the community, but also it benefits them academically, so they get credit for it. I call this as a service learning. So it greatly benefits our students because they have done really state-of-the-art work but they also served a community, made a meaningful difference. Will you mention something uh, about heroes in science and technology? One of the objectives of this program is what our country needs is students dreaming to become heroes in science and technology. That like going to the moon that we had. Absolutely, we had a moonshot. Now our students should be thinking, what can I do in robotics? Or what can I do to improve this? Uh, uh, you know, uh, one of the students who is involved in this project is working on a uh, lunar rover project. So that's the kind of a, a science and technology leaders we need in this country, not stockbrokers. Not stockbrokers. 
it is it will be a real shift and it makes a big difference in absolutely. the kind of society and economy that we'll end up having absolutely so we're inspiring all those students out there absolutely. get excited in science and engineering absolutely. basically right? yes. you can construct a robot just absolutely. like we're seeing here absolutely thank you for your time and congratulations on your success thank you very much it's nice and to, be to here. the students congratulations on your success also for local edition i'm tracy young now back to cnn headline news